Hello, today we are going to be looking at checkbook writing and parts of the check. So, up here is a little check that I made. So, upper left hand corner would be already stamped into your check, your name, your first and last name, your address, your state, your zip code, and then your phone number is usually lifted up, listed up there. In the upper right hand corner is your check number. Pay to the order of is who you're paying this money to or what company or whatever. And, then, and below I wrote some more notes out. This spot right here is for you to write it in digit form, like the money amount. The line underneath it is where you're going to write it out in word form. Right here would be a bank stamp. So like if it's a credit union or whether you have community bank or Midland bank or whatever bank you have, the memo is for you to write what you bought it for. Was it a gift? Was it for yourself? Was it um, clothes? Was it groceries? And then over here would be your signature, which is your name in cursive. Okay. So we'll go to the parts underneath it and then we'll go back and fill one up. Okay, so we are taking notes today. So you would write all this stuff down. So the pay to the order spot that we talked about earlier, who you are writing it to, example, Target, Sue Waters, Cash, etc. Memo, that spot at the bottom right there, tip of the screen. What did you buy? This is the spot to help you remember. Signature, usually cursive writing to the best of your ability is the signature. The blank with the word dollars is the line where you write out the payment in words. The dollar sign with the line is the line where you write the payment in digits. Coins are usually written like this, 56 cents over 100. Why over 100? Because there's 100 pennies in that amount. Double zero over 100 means there's no pennies. NA over 100 is another way some people write it. XX over 100. Now you have to be careful because you want to make sure you write in a coin amount. Because if you don't, somebody could alter your check. Not everybody in life is an honest human being. So we don't know how that works. Um, bank stamp, name, address, check number, those are all pre-stamped on a check. So now we're going to fill this little fake check out. Okay? So we have our pretend address up here. Pay to the order of, let's pay to the order of, let's pay to Target. Okay? So we're going to write this check out to Target. And we're going to pay for, um, let's do $56.75. So we put that there in digit form. This is going to be for Diet Coke. Some of you are like, whoa, that's a lot. Yeah, it goes pretty fast some days. So on this line, we're writing it out in words. Now I'm going to hug this line right here so no one can alter my check. Because if I started it like here, somebody could write the word 100 in front of it and easily slide a 1 in front of that. So you want to make sure you hug the line. So I would put 50 hyphen 6 and... 75 slash 100 and I'm going to squiggle out the line because I have space. Now if you don't have space, you don't need a squiggle. If you accidentally left too much space in the front, you could add a squiggle. Okay, but you want to cover yourself so no, so no one can alter your check. So who you bought what from, the digit amount, the word amount, and what you bought. That's how you write a check. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby, and I heart math, and of course.